Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and I normally put up drone videos, but uh, my grandson, uh, we live uh, on the same property as he does, so he's in and out of our house all the time and we have a lot of fun together. He's in fourth grade now and uh, so uh, he, from the time he was in kindergarten, his grandma's been helping him with his math and he's done really well. He's gotten straight A's all the way through and even the first part of the fourth grade. But he got to a situation, uh, we, we, we uh, just had uh, Thanksgiving vacation and the last day of school he came home with this paper that had multiplication problems with multiple digits like for instance 13 times um, you know 45 things like that and so um, and he had missed every single one of them and so uh, my my sweetheart my grandma she sat down with him and all he could say was I hate math I hate math up to this point he's loved math and he just uh, for some reason he just you know ran into a problem and so I thought Okay, so that night I lost a little bit of sleep <laughs> trying to figure out what to do. The next day he came over and uh, when he came in, I said, you are going to teach me mathematics, uh, teach me math. And then I said, and not only that, but I'm going to pay you $12 an hour to teach me math. And so um, that got his attention really fast. And I figured it was worth it if I could help him. And when I when I first started, I thought, well, the, the writing on that page is all crowded up and small. It might be eyesight thing, but I know that he likes to use permanent markers. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to put together some pages that uh, use, I just use the numbers uh, 1, 2, and 5, keep them really simple. And I'll put together some numbers, and uh, then we'll go through it. And I said, uh, you listen really close, because I'm, I'm going to... Uh, uh, have you teach me when we get through and so I didn't use, I didn't print print these off I just used my black marker to do all the lines and everything in ours and I made me one and I made him one so he could sit next to me as I went through it and I explained the multiplier and the multiplican and the ones tens and hundreds columns and the ones tens and hundreds rows and went through that and I says are you sure you're getting all of this and he and he did he was he was getting it all and so um so then i said okay we're going to get started now before i draw with a marker on my nice table <laughs> i'm going to put a black piece of uh, poster board behind it so that it doesn't so that doesn't mess up my table so anyway so we got started and i like i just use ones twos and fives so we'll do several sheets here and i'll show you how i did it and then uh, basically, the reason I'm showing you this is if you have a grandchild or a child that's having difficulty with multiple digit multiplications, maybe this will help. But the, the, the key is to tell them you're going to teach me, so listen close, and then tell them that you're going to pay them. That's what made a difference. So this is how I went about it, and, uh, uh, and I'm 80 and I'm forgetting how to do a lot of things, so <laughs> expect me to make a mistake here along the way. All right, so we just, I just started out with something he could easily understand. One times one is one. Okay, and now we move over here. One times one is one. Okay, so one times 11 is 11. So there, that covers all those guys. Now we move over to the tens column, and we say one times one is one in the tens row. And his teacher says, always put a zero there. It's kind of like a placeholder, but basically, you don't have to think about this when you're doing the math, but this is actually 10 times one, which is 10. But you don't need to worry about that. Just one times one is one, put the placeholder in, okay? And then we have uh, one times one is one, and um, we're still in the tens column, so we'll go over here and we'll put a one, okay? So now, we're gonna add these up. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, and 1 plus nothing is 1. So 11 times 11 is 121, all right? I went through that. I said, you got it because you're going to teach me. And he said, yep. So we uh, then I brought it up to, uh, let's see, I got another one here. Yeah, here it is right here. So then we went up to a higher number, 12 times 12, okay? So uh, we'll put this out of the way so you don't have to be bothered by it. 
get these guys over here. Okay, so 12 times 12. We do the same thing, same, uh, make sure he understands as I go along. 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so 2 times 12 is 24. Okay, then we've got uh, we've got everything covered in the ones column. We're going to go over to the tens column. One times two is in the tens row. One times two is two. And like his teacher says, put a zero there. Okay, and one times one is one. So we just put a one there. So when we uh, add it up, four plus nothing is four. Two plus two is four. And 1 plus nothing is 1. So 12 times 12 is 144. Okay? So put that over there. Now we're going to go to a little more difficult one here now. This is 15 times 15. So I just made sure he understood. And we start over here. 5 times 5 is... Oh, by the way, this is the point where if they don't know their times tables, this is going to be miserable to work with. So make sure that they are learning their times tables. Okay? 5 times 5 is 25, so we put the 5 here, but that goes up here, okay? Because we have to carry the 2, because we're just working in the 1's column, okay? And then 1 times 5 is 5, and then we have to add the 2, so that's 7, okay? 1 times 5 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Now we go over here, 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 1 is 1, we add those together. 5 plus nothing is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. So we're going to put the 2 here and carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So 15 times 15 is 225. I ask him, are you sure that you, you, you understand? And he understood. So we'll put that over there. Then I got to one that was a little more difficulty, a little more difficult, but not that hard. <clears throat> the same thing again. And by the way, that's a digit, and this is a digit, and the two digits together make what we call a number, okay? And uh, so, uh, and this, it, it, that's why uh, it's called multi, multi-digit multiplication, okay? So, start on this one. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2, Okay? And 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. And we cross that out because we've used it, okay? Then we go 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. And 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So when we add that all up, we got 5, 2, and 6. So 5, 25 times 25 is 625. So I went through, got it all done, told him, uh, asked him if he had any questions, and when it was all finished, then I said, okay, now you're going to teach me. <laughs> and so he went, and I had another set of papers ready for him to, to teach me. And so, um, he taught me and, and he did, a, I called him Mr. Gunnison and everything, just like we were in school. And he just had a great time. And I'll tell you, he had so much fun doing that, uh, that when we got through, he kept all of his work. He did not want to throw away these papers because it was so precious to him, I guess. I don't know, because maybe he finally figured it out. But for some reason, it really worked with him. So you might want to try that with your kids or grandkids if they're having difficulty with multiplication. Just remember, you got your three columns and your three rows and uh, use a... a uh, black uh, marker use big paper make it easy so they can see because one thing I was worried about was maybe he just wasn't able to see so when I got all through then he went <clears throat> he kept those papers and he went back to that paper he brought home from school with all the wrong problems redid them got them all right and then there was some crop some story problems on the back side and he did all, did all those and he got it all right so the problem was solved and he was happy and of course then his grandma she matched See, he actually made $11. <laughs> uh, and so, and then his grandma, she matched what I paid him. 
and he was able to go to the store and buy one of those Lego toys that you, you build, you put it together with Legos and then you got yourself a toy. So it was a fun time and he knows it and there's no problem now and it's all fixed up. So you might want to try that. Just try similar technique with, uh, with your kids and grandkids. And I want to thank you for watching my video and God bless.